is Arlene Sanjines. Today's video is a come shopping with me slash let's see what we find at the rack. So I actually did two different trips and I found some bomb, like amazing hidden gems. And you guys know the rack has so many good things and they're not even things that are like totally out of season. They're, I mean, technically they are, but they're still really trendy if that makes sense. So anyways, hopefully you guys end up enjoying it. If you guys do, Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also, make sure you guys turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss any of my videos. You guys really seem to enjoy um, the TJ Maxx video that I did, so I will link that one down below. Also, it's the same exact concept. I took you guys shopping, went in the fitting room, and then a haul at the end. So that's exactly what I'm doing today. Um, I'm gonna take you guys shopping with me. Like I said, I did two different trips. Um, I took you guys in the fitting room, and then a haul at the end. So make sure you guys stay around to the end to see exactly what I bought. But that is enough rambling. Let's start with the video. I've been prioritizing. Found some Jimmy Choo's. How do they look? They look good? They look really good. You guys, my back is half broken, so if I'm not moving, it's because I can't move my arm. <gasps> some St. Laurent sunglasses. They fall on my face. Yeah, they don't quite fit you. <laughs> Here's another pair of um, Karen Walker sunglasses. These are cute. Ooh. Okay, these are cute. Must haves. These are must haves. <laughs> I'm not joking, babe. These are. No, they're fire. You guys, these are the ones that I just bought the other day that are also Karen Walkers. You're just on a Karen Walker. Are these not the best? These Those are the, the ones that are mine. Yeah. That I got from here yeah. a few days ago. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> I found these Dolce & Gabbana's that I wanted so bad at full price. Uh, the other ones, the, the other ones are better. The other ones are better. Yeah, I like the other ones. The ones that you just bought. Oh, the ones I just bought? Yeah. Yeah, 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 but there's so many cute ones. You guys, look at how cute this Tory Burch bag is. How much is it? $2.50 compared to almost $500, so half off. This is really cute. This is the jackpot of all bags of Valentino. Beautiful, I need. All right, moment of truth. Oh no, almost $400. Hell, it's a lot of budget for me. But hey, this is freaking adorable. Everything about this I love. I love the size, I love the color. I love the studs on it. This is freaking beautiful. Do not ever skip the designer row section. They have such cute stuff. You know, sometimes you might think it's a little overpriced, you might score some bomb, bomb, bomb deals. And there's really cute stuff. And sometimes they're not like crazy priced. Like under 200, so still somewhat affordable, but not crazy. Designer stuff. row. Look, look, look. Designer row. Hey, these aren't my size though, these are too big, but they're 100. That's not too bad for designer shoes. I found these boots that are pretty bomb. I just wish they were my size. They're the brand Nordstrom Signature, $83. I've never heard of this brand. I didn't know they had their own brand, but these are so cute. Also, who needs Chanel slides when you got these ones? <laughs> these are probably still pretty pricey. Yeah, 80 bucks. Dang. Yeah. Ladies, at least, I am at shocked. At least not a few hundred like the Chanel ones. I am shocked. Would you ever buy shocked. them? No, would they just slip, slip freaking... <laughs> Slip on shoes, like what the hell? You'd rather go barefoot, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Or go to Target. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or go to Target. <laughs> You're a simple guy, huh? Yeah. Simple. <laughs> Simplicity. The key to life. Oh. <laughs> Activewear also always, almost always has good stuff. Like, such cute things. These Adidas windbreakers. There's always so much cute stuff. It's always dangerous. And you don't make it on that list. You guys, I had to grab these Balenciagas because they're in my size. They are still too a clearance. But I want to try them on because I just want to see how the fit is. Why are they 280? Let's see. This is a total fail. <laughs> these Balenciagas like don't even go up my butt. And then even if they did, they're like not high-waisted. And you guys know how I feel. They always have to be high-waisted. And then, yeah, total fail. Okay, these Blink NYC shorts fit so good. High waisted, true size 28, usually I'm between 27 and 28, um, and they're only $33, so such a steal. 
They're not too short. They are a little shorter than what I like, but I feel like they're perfect. They fit good on the butt area. These are super cute. These pants are so cool. They're kind of like that wet look. The only problem is they're a tiny bit big. They're 29. I would have wanted a 28. Um, but here's the deal. They were originally 275. They're only $27. So I feel like I need to get them. Like I can't pass them up. <laughs> this cop shop dress is super cute and is also on clearance. I just have nowhere to wear it to. But it's a really cute dress. This sweater top is really cute. I hope I can still get use out of it. I just love the style and fit of it. It kind of has a little bit of like a popcorn effect. I feel like when it gets chilly at night, it's like the perfect top to wear. Don't get offended, baby. Okay, so let's jump into the haul portion, you guys. I found the most amazing bomb things like i'm not exaggerating might be one of my favorite nordstrom rack trips that i've ever done it's probably also because you guys know that i recently relocated up north um, northern california and the rack that i went to is one that i've never been to before and they had some really good stuff like i was so shocked and there were so many good things okay so let's start with the things that i got so i got these booties you guys right here they look like this i actually have a few other pairs that are somewhat similar but these are my new favorite i have been searching for like the perfect pointed toe leather booty these are the brand mark fisher they were 50 dollars, so pretty reasonably priced and like i said this is what i mean like this is a totally out of season it's still such a trendy cute boot i love the way it like cuffs at your ankle and then i love the tiny little kitten heel like i said it's so hard to find the perfect ones you guys would be surprised you're probably thinking like oh they're just some cute little black leather booties no like these are the perfect ones like it's a pointed toe but it's not like extremely like a crazy point i've tried on other ones like that and they almost make you look like you have like witch shoes on which is really weird <laughs> so yeah these ones don't look like witch shoes they're like the perfect pointed toe booty i'm obsessed with them you guys i'm telling you like it's hard to find the perfect pointed toe black leather booty with a kitten heel like this it's kind of one of those things like you know when you find like the perfect pair of denim jeans or the per perfect leather jacket like it's kind of that sort of thing so with booties love 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 these and i'm trying to link everything down below i know obviously i found a lot of things in store but luckily um the rack does have a pretty good online website so i'll try to link things down below um, so check the description box or I'll try to link similar items. Um, but the other thing I got, oh, before I forget, these earrings that I'm wearing, I've been searching for like a thick hoop like this. So they are just like a really chunky hoop. They're the brand 14th and Union, so it's kind of just one of their um, like in-store brands. They were 10 bucks and they're pretty like decent quality. So found them. Oh, and I also really wanted to make sure that they were super lightweight. So I thought they were super cute and they are super lightweight, which is why I got them. Um, moving on to this bag. This is still on the same trip. Oh my gosh, you guys. So in the video, I told you guys like do not skip out on the designer row section. I know, especially if you're like on a budget and you don't want to overspend at the rack, the designer area where they have like shoes and stuff or even clothes a lot of times you feel like it's gonna break the bank so a lot of times you stay away from that but you guys if you have time i know going to the rack can take a lot of time just because you have to like search through racks and stuff to me it's pretty fun to like look through everything um but don't skip out on it because you can find some hidden gems and a lot of times there's things on clearance so there's really things that you can actually afford for example these guys right here i went to that area just kind of browsing and looking a lot of times i don't end up buying anything from those um, designer areas because they are still pretty pricey these boots i saw them and i was like oh my gosh these are so beautiful so cute i was like they're gonna be a few hundred dollars i looked at the tag i did take the tag off they were 35 dollars 35 dollars i picked up the first one and i was like no way oh and mind you the brand is via spiga so or via spiga so it is a really good brand they were originally 300 dollars. i try to find them online they're sold out everywhere i try to link them for you guys on my instagram but yeah they're sold out um so i just like i said found a hidden gem i'm obsessed with them they're such good quality so freaking cute so on trend and 35 dollars. 35 bucks. like i'm shocked the next thing i got that i was so pumped about are these karen walker sunglasses i think i showed them to you guys in the other clips but let me just put them on quickly are these not the freaking cutest like they're just like a big huge chunky um sunglass and i like that they're like a really good 
durable, high quality frame. A lot of times like Ray-Bans, for example, have like a super thin frame and they feel super fragile. These are like heavy duty, these Karen Walker sunglasses. And all of these sunglasses that I kept gravitating towards, like every time I kept picking them up, they were Karen Walker ones. Who knew that Karen Walker had such amazing sunglasses? And these ones were originally tagged at $300. Got them for under 100, 80 bucks. They were $80, so super cute. I'll try to find them and link them down below. A few more things, clothing pieces. I actually got a t-shirt, not this one, but just like a relaxed white tee. I feel like it's just an essential. I'll insert a picture. I posted it on my Instagram, but I can't find it. I think I already packed it away. Um, but yeah, I got that t-shirt and it was like, Oh, I think it was like $12. And then I also found these shorts. So these are the Blank NYC brand. Love them, high-waisted, perfect fit. I love like the rips in them. They're not like overly ripped or anything. And I just, I loved the fit. I love Blank NYC. I feel like it's a super trendy, good fitting, good quality brand. And it's always a lot more affordable than other brands that you find at Nordstrom. So love these shorts. And then the last thing, I showed these to you guys in the fitting room. I contemplated getting them just because they are a little big, but they were just, they were too cute, too, everything, like high-waisted, great fit. They were just, like I said, a little loose. Um, these ones were $26.99, originally $2.75 in the clearance section, in the designer clearance section. So that's what I mean. Like, you can find some really good um, steals in there. So love these. But yeah, that's going to be everything for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed, turn on your post notifications, check out the description box for links to everything, and also my last video at TJ Maxx, I found Gucci and other stuff at TJ Maxx, like, you guys need to check that video out, um, but yeah, that's it, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video, bye.